morning and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Our focus this morning, it's on veterans as we prepare to observe Veterans Day on Monday, November 11th. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day on November 11th, 1919, the first anniversary of the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for an annual observance and November 11th became a national holiday in 1938. My first guest, they're here to tell us about a number of events that are planned to honor the men and women who are served our country. Dan Buttry is the incoming president and CEO of the War Memorial Center. He's also a veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And Mary Ann Diaquisto, she is the executive director of Honor our military. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you both for being here. Let's quickly talk about the history of the War Memorial Center and its purpose. The War Memorial Center was built in 1957 uh, by Milwaukee County, Milwaukee County residents. And so we have 62 years of um, honoring and service, uh, honor the dead by serving the living. Mm -hmm. and, and that's an important part to remember because it's a memorial and we will always remember and honor our fallen. By doing that, we serve the living, which mm -hmm. are the veterans and their families and the community that surrounds them. Yeah, and it was actually designated a Milwaukee landmark in 1974, yes. which is pretty amazing. So in addition to standing as a testament to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country, it's also a hub that you guys use for veterans activities. There are many events that occur at the center. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an education program. Th nearly 9,000 students are coming through. That's a new program uh, from MPS and other surrounding schools. But also a lot of veteran organizations come in and do utilize the facility for meetings, for coordination, and, and of course, rental receptions for weddings and, and um, a lot of various activities. And it's right on the lakefront. It's a gorgeous setting. Absolutely gorgeous. And the thing is, we've got Veterans Day coming up. So of course, you've got a lot of activities that are planned. You're, you've got your annual ceremony that honors the vet. So you can fill us in on those details if you like. So since 1939, two American legions have collaborated to host Veterans Day ceremonies in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. um, American Legion Post, Police Post 416, and Milwaukee Firefighters Post 426. And so that's a continuation. So they are still hosting at the War Memorial Center. Uh, ceremony will start on Veterans Day at 10 at 10 30 mm -hmm. with the official ceremony kicking off at 11 a.m which is the official mark of veterans day okay good time. stuff and i understand your keynote speaker is going to be meg jones who's the author of world war ii milwaukee so looking at those uh war heroes who have really helped make a difference who live right here in our community and meg really does a lot to support and report on veteran and military issues mm -hmm. extensively. I know she was embedded in Iraq uh, when during the height of conflict. And so um, it's most appropriate to have Meg Jones as the keynote speaker this year. Yeah, and Marianne, I have not forgotten about you over <laughs> there. Uh, coming up on November 16th, there's the 56th annual Milwaukee Veterans Day of Honor that is saluting World War II vets. Uh, this annual celebration is extra special this year, right? It is. Um, this is the 75th anniversary of D-Day, as well as many major battles of World War II. Mm -hmm. So it was appropriate for us to honor our World War II veterans as our special guests of honor. Yeah, so when we look at the uh, day of activities, you've got quite a bit set up, and this is open to the public, right? This is open to the public. Um, the War Memorial Center will be open to the public at 9 a.m. Um, we have different veteran-related um, vendors and displays there. We have a display of World War II artifacts from a lot of our local veterans that mm -hmm. have given us their artifacts to, dis to put on display that day. We're going to have a pictorial display of many of our local World War II vets. We're going to have performances by the um, Greendale High School Band as well as the uh, Milwaukee Lutheran. Uh, choir. Okay, so a lot and of good stuff. Then at 10:30, uh, a memorial service. At 11 o'clock, the honor walk, which is a formal walk of the veterans over the Mason Street Bridge, mm -hmm. which will take them to a motorcade. Um, the motorcade will go down Wisconsin Avenue and eventually take them to Potawatomi, where it's a reception for the veterans who have participated in the event. 
That is absolutely wonderful. And when we look at uh, this whole scenario, this is an opportunity for those who are uh, a part of the community to come and actually meet these veterans who all of them have some a major or really interesting story to share about the time that they served. And uh, most of these men and women are in their late 80s and 90s. So, you know, you really, think about it, it's it's an opportunity to take advantage of something you may not always have. Exactly. Um, our World War II veterans who are participating, I think our youngest is 92 and our oldest is 99. Wow. So, and everything in between. Yeah. And like I said, I've had a number of veterans uh, come on this show to talk about a number of things. And all of those who are in their 70s and 80s and 90s, we've had them all. I've had a 92-year-old uh, Tuskegee Airman that even joined us uh, for the show. But they all just have so much Persevere, perseverance, personality, all these things, and I think that it's amazing to give the public an opportunity to talk to them. And the veterans love interacting with the citizens in, in the community, so it's a take advantage of that. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got Capco Stamping Grafton that's your presenting sponsor. Yes. Okay, and so is there anything else that we need to know about uh, Veterans Day events and also the events that's taken place on November 16th? There are multiple ways to keep track of this, but I would definitely encourage them to go to the WarMemorialCenter.org and they can get newsletters and then they can get an update on all these activities. Okay, so we thank you so much for stopping sure. by and sharing the information. And again, we invite everyone that's watching to come down and take part in all of the great ceremonies. Thank you very much for it's having us. It's been a us. pleasure. Dan Butchery is the incoming president and CEO of the War Memorial Center and Marianne Diaquisto, she is the executive director of Honor our military. For information on anything we've discussed, again, you can go to WarMemorialCenter.org or call 414-273-5533. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll find out more about a special project that's going to be dedicated at the War Memorial in 2020, honoring African-American veterans. We'll do that right after this.